in the lab, 2.26.19. Brother Anand Sheth had asked us to do a compatibility test between me and several devices. To do such, we had to do a baseline scan on his vitality and biofield scan. These were the results. This is a fair sheet. And in this sheet, we can see all the different systems that we have gone through. And the first system that we had scanned is the biofield system, which gives us an amplitude reading of 72.9. So here we're going to go to the second part of the scan when we go in depth into the biofield system. And we have scanned for his physical vitality, etheric vitality. His emotional vitality, you can see a quantitative jump. In his emotional vitality, uh, mental vitality, and overall vitality. Uh, scanning of his chakras, we can see his crown center. So again, all these are positive tunings, and we're going to be focusing or paying more attention in the ones that the amplitude reading is below 80. So his brown center as center of innate intelligence and inner wisdom, but also his endocrine system. This is a center that controls the endocrine system. So that's already showing below 80 at 77.4. Um, so it follows the throat center at 78.6, heart center 73.2, this is going to be the lowest one of all the centers, solar plexus 78, sacral plexus 80, base center 81.9. So we have the heart center and the third eye and the throat center. Also the solar plexus, uh, rays, 76.3, psychic visualization, 88.7, negative influences, this is a negative tuning, so we give it the margin of 20 and any amplitude reading close to 20 or above 20, we shall pay attention or a shock 26, that's a high negative tuning, and aura as positive tuning 77.2, and how, how much vitality the aura is showing. Um, in the biofield system, we scan for the meridians, and the meridians, kidney meridian at 73.6. That's low, we have to pay attention to that. His lung meridian, it's also below 80. Spleen and pancreas meridian. Pericardium meridian, 65.9. That's a center of emotions. Gallbladder meridian, 69.5. Small intestine meridian, 78.5. So pay attention to the pericardium meridian, gallbladder meridian, and this correlates with the heart chakra and the solar plexus too. Um, following that, his elements, elemental energies, element air, 75.4, and this one correlates, the element air correlates with the heart center as well and the lung meridian and the pericardium meridian. Uh, the element earth, this is gonna be muscles and solids and connective tissues. Element earth at 63, that's really, really low, far from 100. Uh, fire, 73.8 and space, 66.2. The last element of the five elements is water at 63.2. So that's all the fluids and liquids in the body, waters in the body. Nerve, 71.9. Blood, 69.5. Air, 
run obstruction that's a high negative tuning so now we get into the endocrine system and in the endocrine system and this is going to correlate with the reading of the third eye chakra that one was the first one out of balance and that's the center of the endocrine system so from the micro macro to the micro and secretion imbalance hormonal imbalance inflammation of glands so that's telling us that there's a secretion imbalance and inflammation of glands and enzyme imbalance what glands are being affected the thalamus with excess of metals as a negative tuning 35.8 and the thalamus the ophthalmus 67.8 when we're scanning the structure and function uh, also another gland is the pituitary gland it's having a pituitary imbalance as metal poisoning this is really high as a negative tuning and pituitary disorder that's affecting the secretion of corticotropin ACTH 68.7 somatotropic, somatotropic this is indicating that it's the anterior pituitary gland alpha cells and from there we jump to the hepatic biliary liver and gallbladder scanning his gallbladder there's this gallbladder imbalance too much candida in the gallbladder this is high negative tuning uh, gallbladder structure and function the celiac at 71.5 also, his muscle and skeletal system, this correlates with the element earth, uh, muscle imbalances, muscle pain, that's really, really high. Brother is experiencing, embodying muscle pain, muscle imbalances, atrophy, this is really, really high, over 50% from a negative tuning, Her an ab abdominal hernia. 41.2 intrinsic data fields of polio it's slightly over 20 but still um, we're picking it up so we have to record it neck back tension and pain a 51 multiple myelitis a 55 muscle atrophy 64.6 and here we went really really in depth in the muscle skeletal system uh, muscle imbalances contracted lactic acid there's a high imbalance too do you want to read? sure synovial uh, versa, versa. Uh, muscle structure and function of the diaphragm is at 56.7 uh, muscle structure and function of Dr. Magnus is 61.9. Muscle structure and function of involuntary muscles is 68.8. Muscle structure and function voluntary is a positive tuning, 67.3. Muscle structure and function of the fascia, positive tuning of 70. Muscle structure and function of blood and nerve supply, positive tuning of 71.7. .7. Muscle structure and uh, function of microfibrils. Positive tuning 74.7. .7. Muscle structure and function of the fretus or rectus muscle medial, <coughs> is 68.1. Muscle structure and function of the symmetry cranials is 59.2. Muscle structure and function of straniomastoid 66%. Muscle structure and function of the gastromedial head is 72%. Muscle structure and function of the lumbricus, the foot, is at 72%. Muscle structure of the octopoils, so he's having trouble with the eyes, the feet, the perineum. Uh, flexodarium profundus is at 62%. Fibroid growth, where you're getting granulomas and so forth, is at 30.9. Scar tissues, Scar tissue is really high too. 30.9, 40.88. Hybrid tissue and adhesions, fibroid adhesions. And arthritis ligaments like tetanitis and other things are, are popping up. Umbilicus and tendons and ligaments. Connective tissue imbalances, fibrocystis, it's like cysts in between the pots. 
it's 33.5. Uh, Propolis organ is at prolapsed, 20, prolapsed organ. organ is at 28 percent. That is a negative tumor. Adhesions is at 26.5. White fibers is at 63.4. That's connective tissue structure and function. So, so we connected, we scan muscles, connective tissue. We're gonna skip this so we we get to the comparative part. So that the um, video is long enough to upload so you can see. Connective tissue, all of this is connective tissue on how they should be behaving and how far they are from behaving how they should be behaving. Um, so after scanning the muscul muscular and skeletal system, uh, we went and we were guided to the toxins, poisons, and pests, uh, drug poison, sulfur drugs, this is really, really high in the negative tunings. So these are not compatible. I don't know if that's in the system or not. Uh, Predison, arsenic in the body, aluminum, amalgams, nickel, zinc, mercury in the body, ingested poisons. So this is indicating that whoever that is being ingested, detoxification is suggested and more detoxification of those drugs. Um, also in the gem, gemstones and electromagnetic frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies. That would be a remedy that, that would help you. Yes, these, these frequencies would highly benefit you for all of what yes. above we have scanned and it has been shown. So all of this is gonna have correlation with that. So 8 hertz, 120 hertz, 728 hertz, 1500, 5000, and 727 hertz. I had also scanned for 635 hertz because uh, Ezekiel came upon and it was for stabilizing pituitary function, so, or stimulating pituitary function, so that that's also suggested. Um, after that, we went into the neurological system, and that I went really in depth in that too. Uh, scan for all the nerves, nerve peripheral nerves, nerve plexus, pineal core, vagus nerves, cranial nerves, and you can see all that. Mostly the cranial names, names and the uh, plexus, um, nerve structure and function inhibit salivary secretion draw eyes 69.7 i don't know we should confirm with brother if he's feeling that uh facial nerve structure gastro duodenal intestinal lumbar mesentric superior or if these are really really low peripheral nerves aortic basal cardiac duodenum diaphragmatic coronary anterior, splenic, greater, subtrapezial, tympanic, myelin sheath of nerve fiber, you can see that, that's almost, mm -hmm. uh, pancreatic, uh, nerve, solar nerve, pulmonary posterior, phrenic, and then we went into solar uh, flower essences, and the flower essences, psychological, what would benefit brother for what he's uh, embodying uh, the lotus flower essence, sunflower essence, and penny royal flower essence, and papaya flower essence. Um, so this is a part where brother had asked us what would be good and beneficial for him and compatible. So the very top is ends therapy. It came up at 79% that it would be good, for, beneficial for you or compatible to help you. The soda pulsar blood purifier came at 82.8%. The wellness PMF came at 78.7%. The big magic mirror, Myramate came at 78.8%. The wet cell came at 81.5%. The amp coil at 74.9%. The Bimber Pro set at 83.4, the MRS 2000 at 80.5, the Biophoton LS5 at 84.5, the Progen 90 at 88.9, and the highest 
um, my gold plasma that I make for my family and myself. It defeats sarcoidosis and fibromyalgia and our autoimmune deficiency disease. I'm not trying to sell it to you, but if you send me your address, brother, I can send you one from my heart. And with your permission, I can send you balancing stuff like I did for my mother. Is there none bias? It's probabilities if you'd like. I will have them printed in post pictures. So love and light. Again, this is this intrinsic data fields. And what yourself says would be good for yourself. The intrinsic self. Love and light, everybody. Thank you for being in the cold. And thank you for your permission, brother. And then chef.